So it's green we are go on the penultimate round of the uh, UCI World Cup. Matthew van der Poel moving from our right into pole position. And he is a bit quickly onto his uh, wheel here. They've got to make sure they keep this nailed on the way through. Looks like that bunch, I was almost going to say, made it through in one piece. At the front of this race, it's like a good day out on a dry Paris-Roubaix. The amount of dust being kicked up by this peloton as the day has gone on. We see all that loose sand and the dirt getting thrown upwards. So Curtis White getting a great start there. Certainly it looks to me like the national champion from the United States of America right up in touch on the back wheel there. Matthew Van der Poel's got the power down. The question is, can anybody follow him? Oh, I'm looking to see anyone else riding. Nobody else has ridden. What has developed is one fast riding line over the course of today. And it may not be too overly clear with the amount of dust that's coming up, but there's one quick line. Come off that line, you're going to be in trouble because there's a lot of dirt. And Debian Peacock making a move over the side there as they came through that section. So looks like Tom Peacock are wanting to wear those stripes in style. So it's being left at the moment to Kevin Kuhn to uh, do the uh, chasing of Pidcock. Sits back down on this climb, interestingly, be uh, really an indication that he's not going flat out at this stage. So he'll want to keep it safe, but he'll want to stay ahead of that chasing group who are coming in the opposite direction just below him. So speak, moving up to the front, six riders clear. So speak safely through the hurdles that time, no mistakes. The Van Apol just uh, squeezing a little bit up there. Peacock out the saddle responding, not letting anything uh, go. Then uh, slightly bigger gaps, you can just see it opening a little behind, but quickly back together as to go over the bridge. Van der Poel taking advantage of that ride through the uh, sand. Looks so, like that gap's open now. Did Peacock do too much too soon? What's he got left? So Van der Poel, Van Aert in that touching distance, almost equidistant behind Lawrence Sveik. So they come through a lap of four complete, going out onto lap number five. Three leaders together there. Van der Poel riding once again. Van Aert not doing so, having to get off. He's a bit right on his heels here. At the moment, of Van der Poel, Van Aert, you can see that gap. So the leading three riders together this time leading into this section is uh, going to be Van Aert. So Kevin Kuhn, the uh, rider who's been dispatched off the back of the scoop now, five seconds back at the last time check. Just take a little bit of a look back. Oh, just over Panzer on the way through. So that front wheel just digging in. Have the advantage, he's got that cleaner line, he can see what he's coming up against, and it forces uh, Van der Poel to dismount. He's uh, man three coming through here, and Van Aert this time riding it. And often that is where that difference is made, the dismount not losing too much time. So Van Aert answered the attack and answered the push of Van der Poel. He closed down Van der Poel. Now Van der Poel being left to close down Van Aert. Very close racing, still 45 minutes complete. Oh, almost high-sided. That was a big, big slide on the exit. A long, long look behind there by Matthew Van der Poel, just looking to see who was in that chasing group, waiting for a move. It's Fiku who goes over the top. Now, chooses to run the hurdles, not make a mistake at that stage. Van der Poel very quickly can do that damage. Oh, here comes Van Aert. He wants this line there side by side. Oh, squeeze run there. Van Aert wants the front here. He wasn't going to let Van der Poel have that. Van Aert really pushing on there. So are we going to see a move? Van der Poel moves up the inside. Back wheel lock up there. He goes up the inside. He pushes Van Aert wide. What a move. Oh, they're pulling out all the stops here. I think they've found the reserve tank and opened it up uh, all the way at the moment. And now Speak goes over the uh, top here. Just reminds them that he's back. So Van der Poel moves up on the side of Van Aert. Oh, there, a little bit of a lockup going in. 
So next big kick comes uh, from Van der Poel. They're in past the pit now. It's going to be Van der Poel who leads out. Can Oh, Avada nearly takes on the barrier. He comes to in second place with Matthew Van der Poel taking the win. That was every millimetre of the course and some as they came around that turn. It's Ellie Isabet taking third place here today. That was some finish.